log. It gives you high dynamic range and tons of details and colors, but it's a little bit challenging if you do it for the first time. So today I'll show you guys easy and the right way to process the log footage like this. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Scenes and thank you for tuning in again. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to deal with log footage in a right and easy way, especially for beginners. So there will be only phone notes to make flat log image alive. A few more advanced stuff, the bunch of them are waiting for you right here. Okay, enough of talking. As always, let's breathe new life into the footage. Enjoy. The first node structure is like this. Only phone knows. And as the start, I'm going to apply this color space transform on this node. Well, guys, this is the key point of today you know, for processing the log image in an easy and the right way. So first, let me explain. So there is something like universal, like a format of colors, which is called a color space. You know, colors change depending on, you know, how we see it, like different monitors and iPhones, Androids, a TV, you know, different devices. So no matter how hard you color grade the footage, eventually people will see it differently. You know, you don't want that, right? So there is a universal color space, color format, so that people can see it as the same as possible. And one of them is Rec 709, 709. Probably you've heard it somewhere, right? Basically, it's like a rule of sport. Like, you know, if it's baseball, there is a rule, and if it's basketball, there is a totally different rule. You know, players must behave under that rule, right? So this is the same thing in, a, in Rec 709, you know, the color, you know, what you do will behave in that rule. So in Resolve Project Setting, the color management, the color science is DaVinci YRGB and Timeline Color Space should be Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. But you know, there are many, many color space here, like depending on you know, where you upload, this changes but for most of the time this rec 709 gamma 2.4 works so rec 709 so now this timeline this whole project is rec 709 the universal color format everything will be behaving like rec 709 but not yet we have to transform this footage to rec 709 you know now we're gonna play you know baseball but this man is a basketball player so we have to make him you know, the baseball player, right? So here, this tab, the color space transform, here we're gonna give resolve our, you know, camera information. So first of all, this footage was shot on Sony Alpha 7 III. And to check what we need, like uh, those input color space and input gamma, just go to picture profile setting. And this time I used a picture profile 8, so which is uh, S-Log 3 and go right side and this color mode is a uh, color space and it's S gamma 3 cine so here input color space will be that S gamma 3 cine which is here right here select it and input gamma is of course Sony S log 3 so I'm gonna choose Sony S log 3 which is right here and if you are a Canon user there are uh, some like a Canon Log 2, Log 3, or a DJI D Log, a Nikon N Log. So choose what you have to choose. Now, as soon as you give the information, this footage transformed to Rec 709. And let me show you the parade. So this is the before, of course. This is flat log image, so very low contrast. But after we transform this footage to Rec 709, it automatically you know, gain the, you know, contrast and saturation. You know, it's well massaged, you know, shadow to highlight. So very, very frankly, this, you know, CSD color space transform is something like LUT, but not like a, you know, crappy LUT that people are selling online these days. You know, it's not for everyone, but this color space transform is specifically in accurately, correctly giving you the basic contrast and saturation as long as you give it your camera information. So now it's all set. This footage well transformed to Rec. 709 and the timeline is Rec. 709 of course. So now we are finally ready to color grade, massage this footage. So here I'm going to give it uh, more contrast and saturation by using 
only those primaries. No you know, complicated stuff, just simple way. So now it's obviously bright, like, you know, the gain is too much. So I'm just gonna lower this gain. Yeah, it's good. And bring the lift down. Yeah, this is okay. So basically the contrast is, you know, that's it. So let me do the before and after. So before and after, before and after that's it for contrast so easy so fast right so next moving to this saturation slider well even though it's rec 709 it has like less saturation so i have to give it more colors by you know moving this saturation slider let's go with a you know simple and easy way so i'm gonna boost it until i get enough of colors i'm gonna park it right here well, surprisingly, that's it for this node. That's it for primaries. See, it's very fast and easy adjustment because of this CSD, color space transform. You know, we already got the basic contrast saturation, so we only need to do like a small adjustment. And jumping to this third node, this will be the look. Here, I'm gonna make, you know, a kind of film look. So first, we can see the magenta all around this image, especially, you know, around the face. So I'm gonna bring this gamma to you know, the opposite side of magenta, which is the cyan side. So I'm gonna grab this gamma and bring this down to the cyan. Like this. So let me do the before and after very quickly. So this is before, after, before, after. Now the magenta is less, very good. And moving to log wheels here. And I want this suit more like a crispy, sharp blue. So shift this shadow to down. I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, before, after. Okay, watch carefully around the suit before. It's kind of like a purple, like magenta. But now, after, very crispy blue, like solid suit. Very nice. And for the skin, I'm gonna use this mid-tone, shift it to orange and a yellow side, not trying to, you know, gain magenta, so be careful for that. And highlight to yellow side, I'm gonna grab this and shift it to just left side, which is yellow, kind of yellow, kind of green. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is before, after, before, after, you know, it's getting more like a cinematic like film look. And moving to saturation versus saturation here. So basically here, you can control the amount of saturation on shadow to highlight. So if I you know, boost this point, the, the saturation on the dark area will get more saturation. And if I go, like if I boost this point on highlight, the saturation on the bright area will get more colors. So this is how it works. And I want to reduce the you know, total saturation, but not for the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this dark area and bring it down. Okay, not, not like this, but I'm gonna stop right here. Just reduce this heavy colors, but also I'm gonna grab this middle point you know, now I'm focusing on the face. I'm gonna grab this point and bring it back. Yep, good. And next I'm using this hue versus hue to control the color itself. For example, if I select this yellow and pushing up, the yellow changes to kind of purple, magenta, and if I go down, it will change to green. And I'm going to select this red and yellow and going down to you know reduce uh, you know magenta from face but but just a little bit just very small difference i'm gonna add it and also i'm gonna shift this you know blue to cyan which is this jacket so i'm gonna grab this and you know push it up And next, moving to hue versus saturation. Here, I'm just gonna adjust the amount of saturation of each color. But first, I'm going to lower the red. 
because you know this thing i don't know this paint is too much this door is too much for me this you know lip is too much so i'm gonna lower this red a little bit but instead of it i'm going to boost this yellow a little bit for the skin and we're gonna lower the cyan and blue yeah just like this and moving to hue versus luma luminance here you can control the brightness of each color so i'm only making a you know color contrast for face so i'm gonna reduce the brightness of red a little bit and instead of it i'm going to boost the you know brightness of yellow you know, by doing this you can make the you know certain contrast of colors okay that's it for hue versus something and saturation versus something that's it and i'm going to do the before and after because this is before the look after before and after and at the last i'm gonna relight this scene by creating the vignette so using this mask tool and i make a mask something like this you know, as if there is a you know, light coming from the window. Well, actually there is, but I'm gonna emphasize it. Something like this. And I'm just gonna invert it and going to curve and bring it down until it get vibes. Well, I will go down somewhere around here. Yeah. And go back to this mask tool and kind of i'm gonna make it more softer like a mix looks good yeah done looks good done very easy very fast so as always i'm gonna turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did to get this look from this flat lock image enjoy How was it? Complicated or simple? Well, I think the color space transform part is a little bit complicated to you know understand, especially if you're not familiar with it. Believe me, for me to explain was difficult, so I hope you guys got the you know, idea. But once you get used to that Rec 709 transform, everything will be easier. You know, just give resolve your camera information and you can convert your log image to Rec 709 easily. You know, you can do whole by yourself, you know, without transforming to Rec 709. Yeah, that's the way too. You can have a full control of the image, but this CSD color space transform will help you to arrive, you know, the base point of whole color grading. So if you haven't tried this yet, I think it will be you know, new and great. Maybe you can save your time and energy. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this color grading, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video. If you like this scene, show me your thumb and uh, hit the subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.